Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. This is episode 13 of the Discord GS Guide, and in this episode, I'll be showing you how to make a weather command. So, without any further ado, let's begin. I hope you'll enjoy. Now, for this, I'm going to be using a module. It's called Weather JS. So, here I'm going to be typing in const weather equal to require weather JS. And now, time to go into packages and actually download it. So, weather JS right here and let me click on the plus icon and now it's installing okay there we go so now i'm going to be creating the statement for the command so the command is going to be weather and now i'll get the file So here I'm going to be getting message, args, and discord for the embed and also weather for getting the actual weather. And now I'll type in weather.js and fill this file in. And there we go. So now starting off, I'm going to be creating a function. So let's I'm going to be calling this weather dot find because that's the inbuilt function that's present within this module. And here I'm going to be opening up curly brackets and typing in search colon args dot join comma. And here I'm going to be typing in the degree type for the temperature. So degree type equal to celsius and now i'm going to be opening the function so the function will have two arguments so the arguments are error and result and yeah so now let me open this up and here i'm going to be typing in some if statements just to make sure that the location is valid before getting the info so if there is an error i'm going to be just sending the error and here if the argument isn't given so i can name this something let me call this city so here i'll type in const city equal to arc zero and here if exclamation city i'm going to be returning that you haven't entered the name of a city or a place so i'll just type in And here I'm going to be typing another if statement. So if result is equal to undefined or result dot length uh, result dot length is equal to zero. So basically there is the city does not the place does not exist. I'm going to be returning that you have to specify a valid place. And there we go. So here I'm going to be assigning two uh, two variables. So first one is going to be current. So let current equal to result and open up square brackets type in zero because this is an array and you don't need to know how all that works but uh, because the module does all of that automatically but you just have to assign the value. So this will equal to result zero dot current and then location which is equal to result zero once again dot location okay so now that we have all of the variables i'm going to be creating an embed so const embed equal to new discord dot message embed and in here we're going to be putting all the values of the location the uh, weather and all that so first let me create a title which will be showing the weather details or info for and in here i'm going to be typing in current dot observation point 
so you will have to remember the different names for each of the values so observation point is for the location and there are many others so let me show you all of them now after that i'm going to be setting a description so let this just be current uh, dot sky text so this gives information on the weather condition and now for uh, so like each weather condition has a certain image for sunny that's the sun and if it's cloudy there are clouds so things like that there is current dot image url so let me say that as a thumbnail and now let me set the color so let color be this random x value that doesn't matter and also i'll put a timestamp okay so now i'm going to be adding some fields so first let me add a field for the temperature so like that and here let me type in current dot temperature and let the inline be true so that all of them are in the same line now after that i'm going to be doing the wind speed so here we just have to type in current dot in display and let this also be true now time for the humidity so once again and then current dot humidity or I, uh, since it is in percentage i'm just going to be adding the percentage symbol as well uh, for the wind speed it's already the um, unit is given but not for humidity so i have to add that myself so uh, here i'll do current dot humidity and here let me add a percentage symbol at the end now after that there is also the time zone so for this i'm going to be using the location so I'll just type in UTC and here location dot time zone and let this also be true. Also make a footer. I just realized that so let me do that as well. So footer I'll just call this weather command. And yeah, I think that's basically done. So I'm just gonna be sending this embed right here. So message dot channel dot send. And in here I'll type an embed. So there we go. Let me run uh, run this program and test it out. Okay, so there is an error right here. Let's see what it is. Invalid left hand sign assignment. Oh, I made a mistake here. Sorry for that. So this has to be the equal to the strict equal to or comparison operator. So now that's done. Let's try it out. So weather let's see nyc and there we go looks like it works so partly cloudy temperature i forgot to add the unit here so yeah let me do that so here it is and let me just add it to the side right here so since it is in celsius i'll do that i don't have the degree symbol right now so let me use asterisk and try this once again so let's try moscow this time and let's see minus 7 degrees celsius 7 km per hour 85 percent humidity and the time zone is utc3 so yeah i think this looks good it works properly the footer is here and all that so yeah that's basically it for this video in the next episode i'm going to be showing you some moderation commands like unban and also mute and unmute commands so anyways guys thanks for watching this video please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i'll see you on the next one peace